Hi, this is Joe, and welcome back for the final video in the battery replacement on the Jetson Bolt Pro. Let's wrap this thing up. When you purchase a new e-bike battery, they usually come with a charger as well. For example, look at your output. It's 42 volts DC 2 amps. The original charger that came with the Jetson was the same output, 42 volts, but it was 1.5 amp. In that case, it just charged a little slower. In this particular case, they recommend using the 2 amp charger, so I would use this. In a pinch, you could also use the standard one that came with your Jetson. It just takes slightly longer to charge. In looking at inside the housing, you notice there's a taller mounting point. That's for the actual cover. If you look off to the right, you'll see a shorter mounting point, both up and down on the cover. This, these shorter mounting points are for the battery bracket. And if you look at the one that is square, goes to the rear on those shorter points. Let's go ahead and mount one side of the bracket. We'll mount the top side. And then we can slip that battery in. Then on the other one, we'll mount the offset bracket with the shorter side down at the bottom and the wider side up at the top. We'll leave the brackets loose at the beginning and then as we get the battery in then we can tighten them up tighter. Now there is a, a little bit of slot play in the brackets so that's why we're going to mount them a little loose and we can reposition the brackets around the battery. If you notice, there's a little bit of a gap between the brackets on the newer battery and that's because the newer battery is thinner than the original battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some probably little blocks of wood, little blocks of styrofoam and then we'll try to block up that battery to keep it from moving then we'll tighten up the screws. In test fitting the battery and the cover with the new replacement battery in I found out that one piece of eighth inch foam at the rear and three pieces of eighth inch rubber in the front made the battery really secure and then allows the cover to go on. With more pieces on this side it bulged out too much for the cover to fit properly. So if we put the more pieces of rubber in the front And then we can put the cover on. Notice that the cover now snaps on and is snug on all of the mounting points. So you want to make sure you get your rubber pieces more to the front, less to the rear. Otherwise, this will bulge too much and interfere with the cover fitting over the battery brackets. Well, holding on to your e-bike, I put the uh, old battery underneath the kickstand. That way I could lift the tire up off the ground and safely spin the wheel without the e-bike getting away from me. And it looks like our battery install has been successful. Remove the battery. Let's set the bike back down on the kickstand. Now that everything's been tested, we can go ahead now and zip tie up the wire bundles and put the cover back on.
What I'll probably do is I don't like these loose wires right here, so I'll probably zip tie this back and then we can tuck that in, put the cover back on. Let me get a small zip tie. At this point, we're ready to put the cover back on and we can go writing. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about replacing the battery on your own e-bike, put a comment down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.